good news. We're back. Did you get the information we needed? Yes. We did. It's all on the video camera I captured. See? Mirage got all the proof we need. Right on the video camera he used. Why don't you show it then, Mirage? Here are the info you need to know about the ink machine. Oh, and while you're at it, we found this as well. It's either a knife or a dagger. What? What is that? What is this? Um, Crowler, it's a dagger. Yeah, but the, the, the writings. It looks like it was taken straight out of a Sith. <sighs> Sakura, you're some kind of woman who has an obsession with weapons of knives. You know what any of this is? Well, it's nothing I know about, actually. But I heard it belonged to a man by the name of Ochi of Bastoon. Ochi was originally a Jedi killer back in his past life during the Clone Wars. It was in 2, him and Darth Vader went to the planet Exocol. Well, that Ochi then turned himself into a Sith assassin. And since then, he's then been titled as a Sith assassin. What happened to this man? Well, he was tasked with Emperor Palpatine of bringing back his granddaughter, Ray Palpatine, back in the year 21 BBY. I'm listening. What happened then? So, Ray's parents thought they would be safe from Ochi and the others, but not for long. Ray stayed on Jakku. What happened to Ray's parents then? Ray's parents were abducted by Ochi and his gang. They were taken on board the ship, only known as board the ship leaving Jakku and taking Ray's parents along with it. I'm sorry to say, but Ray was only abandoned by her parents by the age of six. What happened then? Well, you'll be very speechless when I say this next part. And this part will forever and always change the way you watch the sequel trilogy, but... When Ray's parents refused to give Ochi the location of their daughter... He killed them. Cold-blooded. Yep. I think Gen is now speechless. On a scale to 1 to 10, I think we made him beyond speechless after we told him about this rumor. Er. He isn't on Jack, but he's gone. Find Kiri. What happened to Ochi after he was- he killed Ray's parents? The story of Ochi then went on after the end of the Clone Wars, and on to the events of the original trilogy, he was then tasked with hunting down 
Luke Skywalker, and Lando Calrissian. Which led to him going to the planet Passam in the year 35 BBY. Where unfortunately he died. Thanks a lot to Lando and Luke if it weren't for them. So in conclusion, I guess this means he was probably killed off by Luke and Lando. I guess the way he gets for killing Ray's parents. Back when Ray was only at the age of six. Pretty sure we all know what it's like for us to lose a family member. I lost my grandfather when I was a very young age. However, they will not be missed, however. But rather, our family members shall be remembered in our loving memories until we all die.